Welcome to Out of Character RPG. Thank you for joining us, and we are starting our new campaign. Today, we are starting a Dungeons & Dragons 5e campaign. That's right, Dungeons & Dragons 5e, and the campaign is called Call to the Grave. Hmm. What is it about? You'll find out as you watch the show. Um, so we're going to get right into it. Uh, why don't we have each of our players introduce their characters? Uh, we'll start with Richie. Oh, wow. I didn't know I was first. All right. So I'm playing a gnome, <laughs> Druid. He just, he's dabbing. He's dabbing right now. Um, he's just completely naked and the most powerful. Everybody knows the most powerful character is Druid. So. And that's, that's why it. he's that's probably naked. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Steven. I am Sir Vinve, the human cleric. I'm the noble knight and loyal follower of the gods. I'm joining my fellow companions in search of adventure, and of course, to deal out justice before I return home to my beloved Maya. All right. And, um, Alex. I am Madame Foster the Poetess. You see, I have here a poem I wrote just for you, viewers. Although her music brings smiles on faces, the very same tune brings maces and hammers, which spark war's blood, death, and ever such sorrow, end of today, assuredly morrow, the end of all things erased, no traces. All right. How that, that back? And uh, Baz. I am Bazrata, Stonebreaker, the 13th. I am a dwarf, barbarian, who is going through rage management guild meetings to control my anger. My first step was to express my anger positively, which is why I have joined this group to kill evil people. <laughs> and Juan, also known as Freilich. <laughs> I am Flaulich, a human wizard, currently a wizard's apprentice. I'm interested in a good mystery, and I will go beyond anything for a great mystery. But I also hide a secret, a tome of evil magic which no one can know about mm, interesting all right so uh your venture starts at the city of portobos it's a bustling town with a diverse population it's a hot dry summer day you are all sweaty and dusty as you travel through portobos and after much touring and wandering you decide to have a drink and some maybe some food at the local tavern called the Drunken Dog. And as you enter this tavern, through the heavily used wooden doors, you're welcomed by a pleasant atmosphere and the smile of a human waitress who's pretty despite looking a little rough around the edges. The halfling bartender is there helping another bartender and they're working up a sweat but still manages to welcome you with a wink and a nod. And you see round tables, you see stone beams supporting the upper floor. Uh, you see the walls are littered with all different kinds of memorability. You, you, you could tell that they're confused about how they really want to decorate this place, but you could tell they really don't care. They really just enjoy people, population, people coming in and, ju and just taking care of their needs. There's rounded tables, there's squares tables all around. Uh, the tavern itself is really packed. It looks like it's uh, the locals are the primary clientele here. There's several tables with travelers. There are some unknown people probably that you're looking around and some strange looking people are here, but they're enjoying themselves. And it looks like they're enjoying company of other people that they're getting to meet. Uh, there are smaller tables that are also occupied by people who seem to be in, uh, kind of enjoying just being alone by themselves. And uh, even most of the stools at the bar are occupied. 
though nobody seems to mind company at all. So there is always a warm welcome for anybody who wants to sit down next to someone else. You did hear rumors about this tavern. Supposedly it's like famous for something, but you can't remember what it was for. Uh, though judging by the, the warmth and the joy radiating through this tavern, it's probably the atmosphere that makes this tavern kind of famous. So you manage to uh, find a seat and prepare for what will undoubtedly be a great evening of food and drink. So you, as you sit, you notice in a corner of the tavern, you, you notice an old, weary-looking knight who still kind of wears his armor of the glory days, you can tell. And of course, he looks lost in his armor as he sits there sipping his ale. He is quite old with a large mustache. And of course, he, he looks lost in thought as you watch him sit there. He looks as if something heavy is on his heart as he stares at his drink. What do you do? Uh, I'm saying to the group, <coughs> does anyone else see this man deep in thought? It's pissing of me off. Of course I do. What do you think? I'm an idiot. I, I want to go and punch him in the face. Right no, no. Why would you want to punch him in the face? Is that all you can do? Violent? Gentlemen, Why are you questioning gentlemen. me? I, I'll, we, shall I'll resolve, we shall resolve in equanimity. We shall not have such angry, mannered folk ab about us. What we need currently is to approach said gentleman and treat him the way he should. So I, I just get up from my seat and I walk over to him. You're right, madam. You're absolutely right, madam. I'm down. I'm I follow as well. I'm meditating. Right. I'm like, I'm I put my hand on. I put my I'm hand on. <laughs> I'm following, Madame. I get up slowly. My, my, my oh character my. has like both her hands, like you know, kind of like very proper and prim. And she walks over to the old, the old gentleman. I'm with him. Uh, yeah, I put my hand on. I'm brass and I'm, I'm, I'm just whispering some words of wisdom to him. I'm just saying, like, there is a time to be angry. Now is not that time, Basrata. Let your us go. Word, your words anger me even more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm following Madame Fausta, but I, I want to get to a point where I can look at her. Yeah, man. You have the 16, 16 charisma, right? 16. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I'm looking at her butt as she walking. That's oh. hilarious. All right. So <laughs> you, you walk over to this. Um, old knight and uh he looks distraught as he's sipping his ale what are it almost seems as though his mind is somewhere else so despite that all of you it seems as though you all crowd him you crowd around him he doesn't notice you he's just looking at his ale as he's sipping it slowly i, I walk over to him and I, and I speak to him saying good sir it would seem I wish to be ostentatious in this moment. Would you care for another round of drinks? And perhaps a chat? As you say that, he seems a little startled because he wasn't... Uh, he looks up at you, standing there, and, and, and you hear... Uh, uh, yes, uh, I am heavy of heart, for the tomb of, of, of my once great leader is now defiled by a band of goblins as we speak. And, and I am in no condition to con confront such wretched defilers. I, I was told by the local surgeon that I have only till... <coughs> <laughs> till the morn to live and I would like uh, to have one hope a hope that our hero's tomb would be cleansed before my passing uh, that is what is on my mind uh, I have much to to fear this guy's about to die right now I, I look at him like really dumbfounded and say like 
You mean this beautiful woman in front of you won't have won't make you last a little longer in your <laughs> life? Oh, you and your concupiscent reactions. Now, now, we must speak directly to this man. You have magnanimous um, gestures here. I, I, I do so appreciate your care for others and your, your wish to seek out um, protection. That being said, the men here, and I gesture towards the rest of the team, are quite able to, I'd imagine, proceed in securing what you wish to be for tomorrow. Yes! Yes, that is exactly what I wish! And it would be great! And, and, and confronting this, I, I believe you are a wizard, I, I would like you to know that it doesn't work anymore, so this beautiful woman standing before me does not matter. <laughs> At my age, I am barely alive! I won't <laughs> live till the morn! And you ask me why I am not concerned of her beauty? It, it's not an insult, it's a, more of an insult to me! <laughs> you do have eyes and you can't see, sir. Uh, no, no. But I understand your dilemma. And hopefully I will last longer than you will. <laughs> oh! Uh, my name is Sir Gilius. <laughs> and I belong to the once, once beautiful order. The Order of the Knights of Azarus. Uh, have I heard of those knights? Excuse me? No, I, I'm, I, GM, I, have I heard of those knights before? Oh, no, yes, no. absolutely. Very noble, that? very right. respectful order. Uh, this has been, a, it's a small order. There's very few knights who, it, it, the, the standards to be part of that order are quite high. So these are great knights. Yes. What's his name, uh, sir? What? Uh, Gideon. Uh, right? Sir Gilius. Gilius. Gilius, Gilius, sorry. Like, I have heard of these knights. They are. Of the highest caliber, Sir Gilius, I too am a, of, of the knighthood. My name is Sir Vinvey. They call me the Grey Lion. Perhaps you have heard of my... Uh, e e even with my loss of health and loss of mind, of course! And he bows to you. About, Sir Grey Lion, yes, of uh, of course. Uh, excuse me, I, I, I at my younger years, I, I, I would have acknowledged you and spotted you, but every now and then, uh, I forget things. My mind is not what it used to be. Uh, wait, are you a wizard? And he kind of points at you, yes. Freilich. Are you a wizard? Or are you yes. just a pervert? I'm a wizard. I'm not oh. a pervert. You, you, you please, please don't speak nonsense. My count is a little arrogant. Uh, don't speak excuse nonsense. me, my mind seems. My I mind. Tell. Don't, don't worry, you don't have to explain. You don't have to explain. My mind <laughs> seems. I, I need some more ale. Yeah, like that's really gonna help your mind. He, he has not much time left, Frau Lich. He has enough time, don't worry. Yes, I am a wizard, Sir Gilius. Yes, uh, so, uh, uh, Madame, you mentioned that you were willing to go and cleanse the great tomb of our knights. Will you do this before I... <coughs> well, before I die? We shall do it with most urgency, utmost urgency. That being said, I shall introduce you to the rest of my colleagues, as they shall deem themselves, I would say, of utmost propriety. Uh, please, and I point towards the rest of them, uh, you, Stonebreaker and Barebottom. Okay, how do you all welcome him? Any any particular way? You nod, bow, kind of shake his hand, what do you do? In the night, we bow, right? I bow to him. <clears throat> and he nods his head. I sort of bow a little bit. And he kind of like... You know, just the head going like this. He nods his head. <laughs> I have my herbalist kit out, and I'm like, I'm, I'm smoking my weed. And I'm like... <laughs> and I offer him, I offer him a pipe. You want to kill him oh, now, don't you? When you do that, oh, yes! Oh, it's been quite a time, a long time since I had the 
pleasure of, of smoking upon such weed. Please pass it on to me. <laughs> that's, that's additional. <laughs> Yo, weed is a term for all forms of. of uh... it's, it's herb. Uh, it's herb. Tobacco! Is that better yeah. for you? Herb. Smoke the herb. Uh, you, you notice he's kind of like uh, uh, puffing on it. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. Smoke ah! slower. You're not. Ah! some time before you die. die. <laughs> Wait, I tell him. I tell him to write something on a piece of paper. I'm like, can you write down? That I have your armor after you're dead. <laughs> is his armor like? Is it plate mail? It's legit. Like... It's literally. It's like plate mail. But you could tell the designs on it are, are quite old, right? This is like, um, it's probably magical or expensive. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So anything else? Uh, what are you guys uh, doing? Um, I'd like to ask him, where is the, um, there you the go. graveyard where his leader is? Oh, good question, perverted wizard. Let me let you know. I'm not a perverted wizard. I'm I am. So an intelligent wizard. Y yes, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. My, uh, my age. Sometimes my mind seems to go and wander. Uh, it, it is in the hills of heroes. On top of the hills of heroes, you will find the tomb of the Order of the Knights of Azeroth. So is this like a, I asked him? Is this a mausoleum, or is it? Do you have the Oh, is it? it is about a day's travel from here. You can make it, and please hurry, because I would love news before I pass tomorrow. It would be great if I would hear some good news before I ascend to the Pathion and the great gods we worship. Yes. I'm yes. braiding his. Why he's talking about this? I'm like twirling his beard. Like I'm behind I've him. Had him in the back. <laughs> Yes, good sir. You notice he kind of like likes that as he's smoking that weed. Yep, calming him down. And he like looks, he looks up at you. Well, I'm, on, I'm only three foot, so I'm on the table. Well, I guess you're <laughs> over his shoulder, kind of yeah. staring at him. So he kind of like yeah. just turns and like looks at you. Like, you remind me like, like of a uh, bear I once fought. <laughs> <laughs> Subliminal. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I pat him in the back. Don't worry. Good old dear sir, As we will. As he dies, we will cleanse this tomb of your brothers. Thank you. From the goblins. You must hurry, for I have not long to live. I can tell. All right, so are you guys leaving? Yes. No, oh, you know what this means. <laughs> <laughs> You travel through a mix of grasslands, hills, and light woods. Your long travel to the Hill of Heroes was basically uneventful. The most exciting part of your day was stopping to eat and rest. And by nightfall, you finally see in the distance the Hill of Heroes. Okay, I think I want to. Mm -hmm. I don't have to worry about that. Later. What are the two that you're gonna have for the day? Definitely sleep. <laughs> and and, um, and uh, mm -hmm. of course, sleep and identify. You only get two, two of them. Remember? Oh, I guess it's first level. Yeah. I'm first level. What do you think I am? That's true. So you approach. You see on the hill of heroes. A stone mausoleum. It could be seen on the top. You also notice that there are three of four to four goblins sitting there at the entrance of this mausoleum. Of course, you are at quite a distance. They look distracted, almost as if they're arguing with each other. It seems as though they're playing some kind of dice game with bones. And they seem as though one may have been cheating and they're getting into an argument. What are you guys doing? How far away are they? Uh, about 200 feet. 
How from from our body? From our... Him, Go ahead, sir. I told him, listen, if we get to within ninety feet of them, I can put them on. That might be the best course of action. I'd rather have no violence if at all possible. It leaves a bloody mess. I agree with you 100%, but I'll... feel your heart, Stonebreaker. I can feel your anger. My character's shaking. He's... <laughs> I've been holding this since we met as Rossus. Gilius wanted to punch him in the face. <laughs> I must let this anger go. <laughs> I'm just looking at. I'm looking at him like, oh boy, what are we? Oh, you are you? I am rather glad he is on our side. Frolic, do you look at me like that? I. <laughs> <laughs> but look at him. Calm down. I'm only a weak magic user. Right. Do you want me to say it slower for you? <laughs> shall we? Shall we attempt to perhaps? Utilize the benefits of stealth around these buildings. I, I think so. And that way you can get as close as possible to perform your magics. I think so. Madam yes. Fausta, as you're saying this, which is great, a uh, great idea, you notice that there's another goblin that comes out of the tomb with the mausoleum. Oh, and wow. you notice that this particular goblin, you can't make out because of the distance what they're saying, but you could tell this, this goblin's angry at the other ones. Pointing fingers, shouting at this these other goblins, um, kind of almost correcting them, and you notice that they seem like they're scared of this particular goblin. And they all of a sudden get up, gather their bones, and you notice that they move away and start to walk around the vicinity, leaving the front open. But the other goblin goes back, that came out and reprimanded them, goes back into these bronze double doors and shuts them. What are you doing? Hmm. Bearbottom in Vinvey, from your past experiences in war, would you say that if minimal threats, such as these minions, would have fled, there might be a greater threat within the building itself. Those are wise words, Madam Fausto. I would have to agree on that counts. I stroke my beard. Yeah, I'll allow you, uh, Sir uh, Vinve, to make an investigation roll. <laughs> uh, difficulty is 15. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, well, definite fail. So. Fail. <laughs> well, that's good. I'm just telling them. Do you think they're repositioning? No! That was up. That was up. All right. So you succeed in the role, and uh, Vinve, you know that from your past combat, and uh, you know that this is a patrol unit. And they're just going on their route of patrolling, which means that sooner or later they will be coming back to this vicinity. But right now they're walking around, running their rounds. What are you doing? Yes. What are you guys doing? Give opportunity. They are patrolling and will be returning. But for now, they're out in patrol. We should take advantage that the guards are less. Wouldn't you agree? Wise, very wise words. This is why I love having you along. That being said, I guess uh, we might need some more brutish uh, entry. Basrata and Bear Bottom, care to join me? One, two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think now is an opportune. Now looks like the most opportune time to avoid combat and get in. Uh, yeah. And so. mm, I Basrata's. Back, like I'm holding on to my three foot butt. I'm like, let's go, Brasrata! Ah, Brasrata! <laughs> so we know that these these gob these goblins will be back. So, Baz, are you uh, running in there yelling, or are you running there just running there? No, kind when of he's running, I'm yelling. covering his mouth, even though he's yelling. He, he can't. 
<laughs> so bare bottom, you kind of like jump on his back and, and just like hold hold on to his mouth. And being that you're small and and Baz is a really strong individual, so he's like carrying you as as he's like. <laughs> and, and, but he's he's got his weapon out and he's he's ready to charge. Perfect. And you charge towards the door. There are double bronze doors you can tell that there are runes etched in it it seems as though um sir vinve you you notice that there are religious uh runes that are on them some blessings to those who have passed and uh so what are you guys do doing you're there in the front uh baz is there he's excited he wants to knock these doors open you do notice that the doors are ajar slightly ajar what are you guys doing? May I make a... All right, before we go in, I... Oh, go ahead, go ahead. I told Baz Rata. I'm like, Baz Rata, wait, wait, one second, one second. I need to do something. I go down, I get off of him, and go down to the ground. Actually, there's a tree over there. Is there a bird around? Is there any kind of bird? Well, remember, it's it's a little bit later. Night is falling. Uh, it's turning night. And, um, yeah, I mean, there are some birds. If... You want to do a perception roll to try to find a bird? Is that what you're trying to do? Yeah. All right. So make a perception. It is night. It's a little difficult. Um, it's a 20. Difficulty class a 20. Do, 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 do. That's difficult. That's real difficult. Well, it's uh, late at night. Perception. And, uh, you know, birds have a tendency to be really quiet. Oh, you made oh, it! Yeah, yeah. You find a bird. Nah, it seems so as you see a nice cardinal, that's a red that's bird, that's uh, in one of them. It looks like it's it's nesting there. It has a nest. Uh, and it looks like it's just comfortable and protecting its young. What are you doing, Bear Bottom? Okay. So I'm going to cast, uh, cast Speak with Animals. I'm going to okay. say, um, in bird, I don't know how birds talk. chick 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 <laughs> what kind Whatever. of bird? But... No, the chicken in the tree. Ah! The chicken. You notice? Ah! You notice that the cardinal goes. <laughs> in bird speak, I'm telling them, uh, it's dangerous, dangerous goblins, dangerous animals, big ones that were here. Um, and I give them a good bear. I'm like, I'll give you, I give you this food for your family if you just tell me when they're coming again. It says, wonderful. We'll do that. All right. So I leave, oh, I leave oh. a good berry in his, in his nest. Well done. Well. All right. I got scouts. Baraz, Baz, Rata. Are you ready to, to rage this? I start slapping him. No, my, my, my character is like cringing and wincing. He's like trying to hold it in. And I keep smacking him. Let's, <laughs> let's do this. <laughs> Get, it. <laughs> Get into the fighting mode. That's <laughs> And after several slaps and uh, red marks across Baz's face, uh, you charge, I take you, right? Well, can I investigate real quick to see if there are any traps or the door seems to jar, he said slightly. I want to make sure that this is a, a safe room for entry. Absolutely. So you could, well, I, I guess the question is, are you guys waiting for him to, or should I say her, to investigate? Or are you guys just busting through doing it uh, Leroy Jenkins style? <laughs> I can imagine I'm going up to the door slowly and then it's here. Uh, Leroy! Well, let, let me hear it from them if that's what they're doing. If they're not, it's okay. Then we'll just have you investigate. What are you guys doing? Uh, it's okay, it's just a trap. Huh? I said it's okay, it's just a trap, right, guys? I just, I'm kicking the door in, man. Uh, he's doing it barbarian style. <laughs> so uh, as Madam puts her ear to my and the door is slammed open. <laughs> And uh, you go into the first room of the tomb. Damn. A bit of a mistake. There's more of them in here than they were outside. <laughs> <coughs> you enter a large antechamber with high ceilings. This chamber serves as an offering room. You definitely know this, Sir Vinve. It serves as an offering room to the knights buried here. There's a lit copper offering room. Uh, uh, Brazzer in the center of this chamber. There's by there's bass uh, reliefs 
at the walls on the west side specifically they're portraying knights combating chaos and on the south wall uh you can see some engravings writings on the wall there are very angry goblins here who have made their home or camp in this room they spot you and draw their scimitars roll for initiative Oh. We'll go by initiative. What do you? Anybody saying anything before we go? Right. Now, as 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 I kick, as I started this, I initiated this. So as I kick in the door, my I see everything. I see all the goblins in a shaky camera, like, and then uh, I see all their heads change to the old man Galius's head. I'm just, I'm just angry with him. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> So, goblins go first with an initiative of 16, and we'll start here. Uh, this goblin rushes to Bear Bottom. Bear Bottom, what is your armor class? My armor class is a whopping 10. 10. Oh! oh. oh. 20. I'm not, I'm not making it to second level. I'm not making it to second level. <laughs> Yo, he uh, impales yeah. you, bare bottom, in the neck. He just What's impairs that? you in the neck and splashing blood all around. And you I'm take, take take my token out. I'm gonna move it right here. You take eight <laughs> points of damage. Cool. Yep. Been See dead. you guys later. Do you drop? Yeah, of course. <laughs> all right. What a crit. Next, the next goblin charges in facing Sir Let's Vinvay. get this TPK. Let's get this yep. TPK right now. That's what I want to see right here. That's what I want to see. What's your armor class? 18. 18 he hits. Dang. Oh, yep. Let's get God. it. Let's Dang. get it. Let's get it. This game's over. And Anthony's going home right severs, now. He's work. He <laughs> severs a part of your arm. Cuts right into it. And you take four points of damage. Next, the one that's adjacent to Madam Fausta. He's attacking. What's your armor class? Uh, 13, I believe. 13. 17. TPK. He hits. Let's get, let's get it. You take four wow. points let's of damage. Get it. Level wow. one. Let's get Next, it. Next, the other one charges in. Oh, no. This, is what this I one need. charges in and is going to strike the wizard in the what? back. What's Wait, your armor what? class? Dang, I think I'm a 13. What the heck is going on? Everybody's gonna get a 10. Nine! He misses! Oh. Probably because you're in the back, he tries to reach and he swings and he misses. Wait, what's the bonus to hit? Uh, their bonus is a plus two. I think it's still miss. So I don't want to get hit, be quiet. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you're right, it's plus four. Nine plus four, oh. 13. He hits. Oh, Thank I you for hit. saying that. You take four points of damage. Wonderful. Oh. Thank you, Sir Vinvay. Wow. I'm sorry. <laughs> so he, he cuts you in the groin area for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and there's like a gout of blood. I mean, I hope it's blood that's just spurting yeah. all over the place. Next. Uh, I'm looking okay. at uh, Madame Fausta or something else. Next, the other one moves forward. Uh, Sir Vinvey, you're getting another attack. Dang. Just roll 13. Yes. And he misses. He swings and he misses. Plus four. The last one moves up to attack Stonebreaker. What's your armor class? Uh, 14. 14, he hits. You take four points of damage. Four, 14, 14, not 13. Yes, but, but we no, got plus four. Plus four. So yeah. he, he jabs you. No. And he hits you in the forearm, um, and it seems as though there's some blood uh, spurting there. All right. Remember, uh, Bear Bottom is on the floor, unconscious. It, it is your turn. Next. Oh, well, my death saving throw. Here we go. Make it. Dad, I just... Dad okay. One one save. Good. Yes. Good job. Let's go. Oh, I don't job. want clapping. I don't want clapping for this. This is not good. <laughs> <laughs> not a good moment. <laughs> All right. Uh, next is uh, Baz. 
Oh, All right, I'm it's not, I apologize. Wait. It's uh, Vimbe. Uh, okay, I am, since you're one square away from me, I'm touching the lifeless corpse of Bear Bottom, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to... Um, no, you know what? I'm going to do the I'm gonna do the, heal, the, the minor healing. I'm going to do oh, the, the hero. You got, you got, like, two turns. Kill something. Trust me, we're all going to die here if you don't start murdering these guys. Okay, but I need one more target <laughs> <laughs> no. The dead is speaking. All right, so I'm gonna. I'll, I'll then I'll, I will strike, strike, and I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna take off my shield and do the. Because um, they're gonna hit anyways. So let's. No, I can't. I have a shield on. I'm gonna. I'm doing heal. I'm doing the. the what I was, I was saying. Yeah, I'm gonna do the heal. So I'm healing him for one d four points of damage plus three. Right. All right. Roll it. Plus three. So five. You get five hit points back. Raise from the dead. You oh. son of. A Bare bottom, you kind of come back for the dead. You're like, what is this? I touch all the furniture around me. I'm just like, I'm still alive. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm hitting the one on him, this one right here. So let's go ahead and take care of that with a long sword strike. Does, does he like long swords? That is that like? Does he have a vulnerability? TPK. Oh, oh, oh no! I start writing TPK everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you swing and you miss. The goblin sidesteps and kind of grits its teeth and smiles in a weird, corrupt-looking way. <laughs> oh, no. Next, I write it in your arm, Stephen, in my blood. The dwarf, okay. Baz. Alright. <coughs> I'm raged, man. Bonus action rage. <laughs> and I'm attacking my first attack with my hand axe. Here we go. Which one are you attacking? I'm going to attack the one that's near uh, Fausta and Froilic. Okay. That one. Yeah, perfect. Bam! He's getting that. Armor class. 15. 15s? That's, that's just that's baby cake easy. Give it to me. Come on. Is it? It's better than most of <laughs> <laughs> That's nine points of damage. Nine points of damage. Now, you have a slashing weapon, right? Or do you have a hammer? No, it's a slashing weapon. Slashing they're, they're weapon. Massive. So you sever its hand, and it stares at its missing hand as it collapses dead. Uh, while, while I was staring at his missing hand, I like in the camera view, I like lifted his hand up because I still I, I had it in his hand. I mean, my hand. <laughs> just show him like I had. It. I was like, he just dies. Uh, is he dead? Yeah, he's died, man. Right, he, did, cool. he did a lot of damage, man. Second, second attack. They thought it was over. Yeah, they 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 only have um seven hit points, and you did a total of nine. Nine. So you, nine you points took of damage. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Second attack. With my other hand, with Second my off attack. hand. Wow, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. My hand axe, I'm throwing it at the one that's next to Alex's character. Okay. Right there. He thought I was, wait, wait, I, I can throw it in, in hand to hang, right? You could. Okay. You, just, you just get a disadvantage. Yeah, sure. there's a disadvantage. You, I don't All know right, if you so want to do that. You might nah, want to take up the one next to you first. Yeah, the one that's next to, yes, I'll take that one up. All right, make your roll. This one right there. Bam! That one's getting the off-handed handle. Give it to me, come on. Oh, man. You swing oh, man. and you oh, miss. Man. The goblin sidesteps, ducks, and weaves, and kind of grits its teeth. <laughs> All right. Next, madam. All right, I'm going to disengage, and then I'm going to move back. I'm running out the building. <laughs> she does a little curtsy on before she leaves. She does a little bottom curtsy, and she's going to leave out the out the door. Right. Uh, but she's going to move far enough so that way they can't they can't get to her, and that'll be the end of my turn. Except for I'm going to cast Bardic Inspiration. I'm going to cast Bardic Inspiration on Sir Vinve. All right. That's a bonus action. Yeah, so you cast that on him? Yes. And so. Thank you. 
wonderful. In yeah, he feels so I say, inspired. Come thou comrade, take the aim. What heroes bear, thou bear the same. Uh, and as you curtsy, I, I also do give you a little bow. Like... <clears throat> as she runs away. As she runs away. <laughs> <laughs> you bear the same. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, next is the wizard. Okay, I, have a I have a question. Does this one over here that was on um, on uh, Madam is he twenty feet away from the one that's on near the dwarf? Uh, yes, they are twenty feet adjacent. They're close. Twenty feet. Yes. Okay, so I'm casting a sleep spell on this one right here, and it should affect all of them. Nice. Make the roll. I'm like, I'm not a hawala, hawala. Yes, that's true. All right, 15 hit points. All right, you that notice that two of the goblins fall asleep. The one that is uh, adjacent to you, or should I say closest to you, and the one that is in front of the barbarian. No one else falls asleep. Okay, next, it goes back to the top. Oh, no. All right. And uh, the one that is on uh, Sir Vinve, there are there's one on you. He's attacking you. What's your armor class again? Eighteen, baby. Eighteen. 18. And he has a plus four. Oh. And a one. Natural one. I oh, this is nice. my shield. I'm like, get out of here, King. The other one is adjacent to you and Baz. He's attacking Baz. Baz, what is your armor class? 14. 14. He has a plus four and he misses. He oh, swings my and you're, you sidestep him and miss. All right. Next. Uh, the other one is, of course, is going to attack uh, Bear Bottom. What's your armor class, Bear Bottom? It's well, 10. 10? And he hits. You hey, take four <clears throat> points of damage. That's it. My character is retiring from the venture. <laughs> no, you have one in four left. You're still alive. Dude, get back in there. <laughs> <laughs> up against the roof. <laughs> I'm going all over. I'm going all over the walls. It's writing TPK, TPK in my blood. And as a movement, the one that attacked um, uh, Baz, he kind of like right adjacent to him. He, instead of running and moving, he kind of moves the other one and wakes the other one that's adjacent to him. He kind of like shakes oh. his head. They were sleeping? They were all sleeping? Got, no, no two. Only two. He rolled for two to sleep. All right. It's a new round. It go, or should I say now goes bare bottom. Bare bottom, it's your turn. What are you doing? Come on, bare bottom. Okay, bare. so that fire, there's a fire in the in the middle of there, right? A little hey, fireplace? Yes. yes. Everyone sees the fire kind of like get sucked in like towards our direction. And I turn around and I just blow my fart. Poison. <laughs> Boys and Ray, they gotta take Constitution save. One of them. Okay. Did just, you right. inhale from your butt? Is that what you're trying? To <laughs> yeah. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> cavity. All right, he's making his save roll. He oh, made it. I said I was tired. He, made, he, he tired. like you see the the, the goblin kind of. He's <laughs> <laughs> used to it. He's used to it. Ooh, that's really good stuff. I'm like that's. Right. Oh man! Are you moving or are you just staying there? I guess you're staying. Oh, there's nowhere to go, man. I'm against that wall. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Vinbe, you go. Oh, um, move action, drop shield, pull out short sword. Had two attacks. Look good, good. So I'm going to. No, you know what? I'm not even. I don't have to. I keep my shield on because I forgot. I'm a war priest. As a bonus action, I get to strike twice anyway. So I'm hitting the one on him on uh on that's bear bottom and then the one on me oh that's at first level you get that I thought second yes level. at first level ah wow, that's beast mm. make your attack on the one that's on bear bottom first oh he knows it's coming save me uh, now what weapon coming. are you using it is a long sword first okay go ahead make your roll like he likes that and he is that's not a hit that's not a hit no that was a 10. I'm crying, I'm crying right now. This tier. Uh, I, I, I get to swing Alex. again. Wait, Alex, uh, inspiration, no? Oh, he did. You want to wait for It's a D6. Use it. D6. D6. Save me. Oh, I know. I have 14. Waste they have armor class 15. 
They have an Iron Class 15, really? Yes, they do. They're fast. They're little fast they are creatures. That's enough to Hard do. Hit. Oh my god, natural one. I say, I, walk, I, I just drop my sword. I drop my sword and I walk out. I'm like, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I go with you. I just put my armor on you. I'm just like, let's go. Terrible roll. Adventuring is over. That was a good, right. was a good battle. <laughs> Next is the Barbarian. <clears throat> oh, Basrata. All right, I'm throwing. Uh, I'm not throwing. I'm sorry. I'm hitting my the one that's on me that just woke up. Smack him in the face with the hand axe. Bam. Nice. 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 And you impale this individual in the eye socket. Ah! Uh, they. It looks like they're about to die. They do have one wound left. What are you doing? I'm hitting the, I'm hitting another one. I'm not even gonna hit that one. I'm gonna hit another one. Uh with my second off with my offhand. Wait, are any of the other ones damaged? No, not yet. I might as well take this one out. There is one sleeping, but it's a wall a, a, a space yeah, away from you. I'm leaving it away. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this one out. Might as well just start eliminating them. Alright, so get. you're attacking the same one. Okay. Same one. Go ahead. Offhand. Here we go. I do that, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no problem. Remember, you you struck him in the eye, and you you destroy that eye into his brain. And when you pull your sword out, it seems as though not just an eye comes out, but pieces of brain come out today. To uh, also, he is dead. All right. Next is uh, Madame Fausta. Okay. Uh. I'm going to now go ahead and cast um, Vicious Mockery. I'm going to insult them within here. I'm going to attack the one on bare bottom right here. All right, so are you going back into the tomb? I can't see through the door I just opened. You could, but you, you so you move towards that, right? Correct? Okay. Why would I? Wait, no. I'm not going back there. Wait, why do I have to go back there? <laughs> you, have to be <laughs> able to see. you have to get close enough to look through the door, correct? And I just, I, the door's not open? Mm-mm. You know what? I'll say it is because you guys burst into it. It is open. Okay. Well, I was going to say, so for my, as part of my move action, then I'll open the door up move over here, and then I'll just stay at the door behind here like that, and I'll cast Vicious Mockery at the one here. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to go ahead and say my Vicious Mockery one. What are thee, vile, demonstrative beast? Know ye not soon that thou shalt be deceased? Begongen! He doesn't say that part. That part's just adding. That's right there. That's perfect. I was going to say, I was like, I hurt yourself, Giving ourselves a boost. So they have to make a wisdom save of 13 in order to succeed. Okay, are you casting on multiple? Uh, just, nope, just on that one guy. All right. Uno mas muchachas. Nice. Does not succeed. Yeah, buddy. He takes three points of damage. All right. And he has disadvantage on his next attack. Good job, man. Next Try. is the wizard. I'm throwing I want hada, hada, oof, another sleep spell on these last remaining three. Running that. <laughs> That's your last spell. Oh, my goodness. Nice. 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 You notice that the three on this side, <coughs> they all drop to sleep. But there is left. one that is here. He's sleeping. Let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20. Nope, not in range. 5, 10, 15. 20. No, but didn't he fall asleep before? Oh, yeah, you're yeah. right. They're all asleep. They're all asleep. Okay. <laughs> so The goblins fall asleep. And there is silence. So, um, that, I guess I'm going to do, I tell these guys. As time, Hurry up before the rest of that patrol gets back. Now yeah. is the time. Cut the necks, cut their throats. Yeah, my character is just, he's chopping the floor. He, he's just, he's going like, that, 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 that. Just going um, around. Um, Chunks of meat. Then I have a strong up. man to assist me. I would like to barricade these doors and maybe have rest a little while gather our strength perchance 
My character's breathing yes. deeply. <sighs> Some of us are heavily wounded. <laughs> I myself got pretty badly wounded. How many points did everybody miss? It? I only got three left. I'm missing four. I have three left as well. I wasn't hit. You're missing four. How much are you missing, Alex? I'm missing four as well. All right, I give I give Juan four good berries, and I give Alex four good berries. Oh snap! I got. It. I tell the bear. Dang. Okay. Not a bear yet. I'm not. Right. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I tell <laughs> the cub. I tell the cubby. Save the cub. Yep, so you guys cub. eat the berries, and you get those uh, hit points back. Why, well, thank you, Bear Bottom. Much rather appreciate it. A kind. I have no more like first that. level spells. I have my cantrips. You don't know where I got those berries from. <laughs> okay, I just put them back on. <laughs> Barricade the damn doors. No, my, my, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> put the bodies in front of the door and the furniture. They're going to be back. Are there any windows? No, probably not. It's a mausoleum. No windows. Damn, my character is addressing the group. I am sorry for my actions. Step three of my program says to think before I... I act. I'm still yeah, learning. You should have left. Let's rot Madam Fausta, no, you... check the door first. Well, well, you're good. Let's rot You just should have killed them quicker before they killed me. <laughs> it is true that you must think before you act. Yeah, I can see you have trouble with that. Before you think. And we should read from the pages of the gods. I take out my book and I start making prayers. While he starts doing that, I start slapping Anthony. I'm like, no, Bowser, I said, get ready. Let's go to the next room. I start running. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. You're making hold me. Hold him. Hold him. No, hold him. He's so small. <laughs> <laughs> I start, when I'm running with Anthony, but then I stop at the door and let him just go. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine him just sitting there. <laughs> Basvata, I can see that you don't think. All right, wait, Ed, do I have to do a, a a strength check to barricade the door? Uh, yeah, you you you're throwing up those furniture that you see there and stuff. You don't need to make a strength check. You got time. You're not under pressure. So, and you are very strong. So you're able to uh, move all those pieces of broken furniture up against it to kind of brace it well. So. As I told you, uh, it looks like there are some um, beautiful reliefs all over the place of great, wonderful combats that have been occur that have been occurring in the in the life of these knights. And you do notice on the opposite wall, you see some writings, and it says, "I." Sir Nigel, the protector, swear the Azareth oath to serve the people, to battle chaos, and to strive to keep the laws of Azeroth. So you see that writing on that wall towards, it's on the same wall that you see the double uh, uh, bronze doors that lead south. What do you guys oh, it do? must be in here. Mm. <clears throat> a beautiful piece of history, might I add. That being said, after we've gone ahead and rested, I believe we shall proceed. Is it all right, Bostrato, if I move forward? I am calm now. You can. Are you sure you're calm? Although, <laughs> you're sweating there a little bit. Your comments is pissing me off. <laughs> <laughs> I must control myself. Freilich, please. I'm just testing you. Make sure you control yourself. I'm going to test you throughout. You will not like this test? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and I'm holding it in right now. Um, I'm going to do a... Uh, if it's I a give him a, a handkerchief so he can wipe the sweat. Passive investigation of six to, uh, of fourteen. Is there is there anything I find or, uh, you, or perception? Did you roll? Did a fourteen make it for a perception or an investigation? Okay. Yeah, you examine the doors and that area uh, by the doors, and you don't see anything that's unusual at all. 
Well, gentlemen, looks like we're in the clear. Onward. Come Wait, on. madam, put your ear to the door just to make sure there's no creatures in there. Maybe you can hear something. <laughs> <laughs> he he would have gotten that with the investigation, okay. uh, but he, he didn't get anything. He just okay. he's trying to come up with an excuse to look at my ass. <laughs> just kidding. All right. Yeah, I wanted to really keep her, her turn to turn this way so I can look more. Perhaps. <laughs> So I'm gonna open up the door, and I'll investigate the next one too. There's a 14. And uh, Match, you, you open the doors. You notice they're not locked at all, and it opens up okay. into a corridor. Uh, you notice that the corridor is about 20 feet long. It is 10 feet wide, <laughs> and on the opposite side, south from you, there is another double brass doors with some writing in it. What are you doing? This room looks like it's, it's made for a trap. That's exactly <laughs> what I'm looking for. Nope. Read the writing. Yeah. Yeah. Wise words there, bottom. Can we read the words from here? Or are we too far away? Uh, too far away. You got to get up in there. I'm going to investigate the room for traps as well as that. All right. So remember, investigation for traps doesn't come. It's perception for traps. Uh, there is a time when you use investigation. Make a perception roll. Is a 14 actually going to work? Uh, you, uh, dip, just just roll perception. I'll let you know if you see anything. If you don't see anything, is everything's okay. You got it. Do that right now. One sec. Uh, there you go. Ooh, get it. Wow. Nice. Yeah, yeah. You wow. needed a perception d uh, 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 DC 20. <laughs> and uh, you notice there's, there's you're looking and, and very lightly, you notice that there's around the midsection, there is kind of a thin, almost an inch wide uh, slit throughout the walls of the hall. And it's oh. very thin, and because it's dark here in this tomb, uh, I have but there is vision. a slit. You you make the assumption that there is a trap, and that something is going to come out or activate. Uh, you could tell that there are plates. You made the roll. There are plates right in front of it that will weight plates that will activate if you step on it. If we step across, it looks like. Plates shall be activated. There are holes within these walls that will let loose and imagine some sort of projectile. So you, you also understand that it's not activated by small people. So hobbits, goblins won't activate it. But heavy uh, people will activate it. It looks like a bare bottom. Your height is uh, quite the advantage in this scenario. Care to go ahead and find out what we can learn? Yes, yes, I will. I put, I put okay. the blood, my own blood on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Faust, can you disarm the trap? I th good question. Is it possible I can disarm that? This, this is one of those traps that uh, you can't disarm, but you can avoid. Uh, being that you, you're aware of it, you can avoid it. So don't, you know, if you want to avoid it, you can just jump, jump over the plate and you'll be okay. Looks like as, as long as we're capable of leaping over the plate, nothing shall go wrong for us. A bit of an adventure never goes wrong, right? I'm just walking across. So it's not going to cover the slit. Bare bottom, you walk across. Don't activate anything. You're you're pretty light, and uh, you come to the other bronze doors that's uh, across from it, south, and you see some writings on it. And as you read it, it's similar to the other ones that you read so you you hear or should i say you read it says i sir nigel the protector swear the azurus oath to serve the people battle chaos and strive to keep the laws of azurus i have a question the slit right how high is it above the ground uh it looks like it runs the whole gamut oh so we can like crawl under her right? You just gotta jump over the thing, that's it. I gotta make a dodge. Uh, uh, bare bottom, you also notice that the, these particular doors, there's no other door that is locked in this tomb, but these doors 
have locks. Uh, anybody got tools to, tools to, uh, tools? Tool? I got tools. Mm -hmm. Want me to give it to you? Sure. Slide them over. All right. Make sure you give it back. It's just borrowing. And she slides it. Should we all go there? I feel like leaving Bear Bottom by himself if there's open doors. Nope, this is normal. This is absolutely normal. I open the door. No way, no way. I want to jump over the trap. I want to jump over the trap. The thieves tools. Would have to roll to jump over the trap. Acrobatics or athletics? Uh, not even. Uh, it, it's not difficult at all. You could just kind of sidestep it, take a, a, okay. a large uh, step <laughs> forward, and you will avoid the... Uh, Alex rolled that 20, man. He, he saved us from all that. He really did, because that would have been instant uh, um, damage to, to eat each of the people <coughs> in the front row. But you, you made it, man. You did good. All right. Oh. Great job. Can I sidestep it, too? Yeah, everybody. Oh, yeah, yep. so I'm going to sidestep it. Size yep, I'm definitely going across through them. All right. All right, put yourself in March. Casting, order. I'm casting guidance on myself to pick the lock. Nice. Oh wait, the wrong character. Hold on, nice. I gotta move my character more. Make your roll. Nope. I break the tools. <laughs> you seem as though you're struggling, and you're kind of like. What's wrong with this? Maybe you're not trained as well as the rogue to pick locks. So what are you guys doing? You notice that uh, Bear Bottom is having, is struggling to open this lock. Bear Bottom, mind if I assist you? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what these are. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You don't know what they are, and you're trying to open them. Yes. I like you can't say that. Oh. At least he tried. There we go. Now just a little bit here, and then. Okay, you can defend. I give you guidance. I just touch your back. I touch your butt. <laughs> she's touching her butt while she's doing it. No, nope, she's slapping. Like, this wrong. is part of. This is part of the spell. You can't reach her butt. You're like too short. <laughs> You have small little arms, try them. <laughs> T-Rex. <laughs> T-Rex arms. <laughs> what is that under, Ed? Uh, what do you want me to roll for these tools? Dexterity? Yeah, you can make a dexterity roll. Sure. For Bazarata, I want to let you know that whoever is on the other side knows it, that we're here. They heard me jiggling the keys. 22. Wow. Maybe wow. they think it's one of the goblins. Excellent. Wow. It was a 15. Very difficult because this place is protected. You can tell that this room is it's quite important to the order of the knights. Uh, but you're able to pick the lock. And the doors, the bronze doors, heavy bronze doors swing open. You enter a large shrine. This chamber is extravagant in design. There are uh, base reliefs on the walls just like in the other room. Honoring the knights in death this time. Before it was in glory and battle and combat, and now it's in death with grand funeral processions you see um, and people praying. On the east side of the room is a giant, or should I say south side of the room, is a giant stone statue on a dais of a great knight, powerful knight. There seems to be an inscription of some sort on the pedestal of this. There are two lit uh, brass brazier <laughs> on either side of the statue there's all so what are you doing i gotta read the relief i want to i want to see what it says this looks like it honors a great night all right um sir vinve i need you to make a perception roll i can do that for you good sir perception How's a five for you? Is that hmm. does that oh, do it? Good. I can't even read the words. I'm like, wasn't there an inscription somewhere around here? Um, as you're like looking at the inscription, I'm about to read it. Uh, bare bottom, <coughs> you see a cardinal fly over to your shoulder and oh. go. And, and uh, because he does that, 
you also notice coming <laughs> out of the side a huge bug bear. Oh no! No. Nope. Come out. But guess what? Because of that bird, you don't get Surprise. ambushed because they're 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 good at ambushing. They get bonuses <laughs> and stuff. You didn't make your perception roll. But uh, I'm going to give you, because the bare bottom hooking that up with the bird, the cardinal, you don't get surprised, so we're going to all roll initiative. But not only that, the bird oh warned God. you because those four guys, goblins, um, that were patrolling are now behind you guys coming in. So you're prepared oh. for it. There is no surprise whatsoever. And... Um, we basically got a roll. Oh, initially. man. This ass whipping is still coming, though. <laughs> oh, God. Four behind and a bugbear? Gosh. Yes. As I told you, this large bugbear uh, comes out from behind the statue. Uh, quiet for his size. Amazing. And he stands in the center of the room, and he's wearing hide armor, and he wields this large a morning star and shield his armor is adorned with tongues of all these different sizes of different creatures and he charges you cool babe that's disgusting in the back you can hear behind you uh, coming from the north you can hear footsteps uh goblins rushing in <laughs> and only two goblins of course uh, can attack from behind. So we didn't even close oh. the door. So, first one getting attack, madam. What is your armor class? Too high. It's gonna be a thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. Yeah. Get one that. of the goblins yeah. swings, but you were prepared for the goblin, and he misses. Next, Frolic. What is your thirteen? A two one swings. Right does four points of damage to you. It strikes you true. It's probably gonna kill me. Yes, you get sliced. <laughs> said yes. And it slices you. It slices <laughs> you on the shin, cutting open, and you start to bleed. Mm. Next. All right. The other goblins can't attack because they're in the back. So now goes Madam. All right. All right, Madam Fausta is going to move. That's not going to provoke an attack of opportunity because I'm not leaving the spot. But I want to leave a slot in there for someone else to go in if they want to fight. I'm going to go ahead and cast Bane. And cast Bane. And here we go for Bane. Let me take that roll. How many How many uh, hit points do you think you have again? Seven? And who are you attacking, Madam? I'm attacking the Bugbear okay. as well as these no. two warriors. Alex, Act you, you, you would get an attack of opportunity from one of them. Oh, what? oh yeah, you're right, from the other one. Okay. I'll go ahead then and I'll... Let me see here. Uh, disengage. I'm not going to be able to take bonus action from there. Let's do that, actually. I'm going to go ahead here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to disengage can I, instead. Can, no, I say something, can I say something for free? It's not my action, though, right? No, sure. Never mind. Go ahead. My character's just being like, move out the way, I'm going to blow them all up. Yeah, that's, I was going to move. That's what's disengaging. I'm going to move over here. Move far, the corner. Yeah. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, <coughs> cast my Bardic Inspiration. I'm going to cast that on uh, Basrata. Where's Basrata? All right, Basrata, you get that right there. All right. So you get that that bonus right there. Ah. Come thou comrade, take the aim. What heroes bear, thou bear the same. <laughs> boom, boom. Oh, that wow. poor makes me happy. <laughs> That's not good. We need you angry. Get in the game. All right, that's my turn. All right. Next is the the. Dro the dwarf. Baz. All right, I'm going to <clears throat> hold my action. To... Wait, wait, should you still go this turn? Do you, I mean, do you I, go have, I go at the same time as you, but you should move away from me. Go first. Further so to gonna, the bugbear. Like, go towards the bugbear. I'm going to split my... I'm going to split my... my movement. 
So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna move. Uh, 15 over here. Yeah, I'll move 15 over here. That's what I'll do. And then I'll I'll. I can hold my turn, right? That's correct. Or I have to act now. Ready? Yeah. Once you move, though, you have to act. You can't split your movement, then hold your turn, right, and so. then split your movement. You can't do that. All right. So I'm. But going you could hold your turn. Nope, I'm gonna go to the bugbear. I just hope, Rich. Just hope. All right, I'm going to the bugbear, and I'm hand axing him. But I'm not doing it while I'm not raging it, because I'm happy because that poem. Made me no, wait, what? Yeah. Okay, what? so you're, you're not raging, right? Okay. No, I'm not raging. Oh my god! Right. Take your attack. Let's get like Oh, uh, you hit nine points of damage. Wow. Okay, so you kind of slice him, and you slice him across his skull. And you notice that it splits open, and there's right. blood dripping down on this large bugbear. But he kind of like just kind of shakes it off. He's, he's he's in pain, but he shakes it off. Yeah, uh, nine attack, points of damage. He's still, he's still there. Oh, second, second attack. attack. Did, it, did it hit? No, uh, his armor class is sixteen. Dang. No, wait, wait, Basrata. You got that bardic inspiration, oh, boy. Bard, that's what I'm saying. D6. Now, is that bard of inspiration? Because that was in the last room. How long is the duration of that? No, no, no. He, he, the last room was right for now. me. This room he did for him when he, when he walked into the corner. Oh, okay. So he cast he it He just again. did it this turn. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I, smacked him. I smacked him up. All right. How, that? Was that? That? How much was that? How much? Three points of damage? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Three points of damage. That's right. All right. Three and nine. Thirteen. And you strike him again. William oh, Knight is 12. He's still alive. Damn it. All right. Next is Bear. Uh, okay, here we go. Wait, Juan. I'm going to wait to Juan. I'll hold my initiative and I'll stay, I'll stay at initiative 8 permanently. All right. Wait, so I'll you let are Juan. moving down to underneath. All right. Frelick. Frelick. So I can move and throwing a spell right uh yeah you have to, the movement you have to do is a retreat like you have to so yeah i'm retreating how far can i retreat half your movement that's 15 that's about here these things are all fire right and then i'm throwing a fireball at that guy uh, right if, you, if you still want to throw a fireball you would have to <laughs> it's not a retreat you would get swung on for yep. free yep yep so so i can't throw the fireball i can could but they just get a free swing on you while you leave mm. Two attacks, yes? Mm -hmm. No, then I'm just gonna retreat. All right, so you retreat. Next is Bear Bottom, you go. Okay, I go over here. And everybody sees me like skip, like I'm hopping and skipping towards the front and then I just thunder clap and like put my hands together. Boom! All of them take a dexterity save. No, it's not, it's um, constitution. Constitution saving throw on all, all those right. goblins. Okay. Uh, so one of them made it. The other ones failed as a 13 save saving throw. All right, one of them so makes it. 2d8 damage. The one that makes it takes wow. half of it. Wow. Right. Oh, please, kill please kill them. Please kill them. Please. I'll allow you to roll the damage. Oh, come on, Rich. I mean, after all, you are casting it. 2d8. Oh, God. Bottom. There's. So nine damage on each of them. All right, they all the die except five. for that one. Yeah. He took half, right? Yeah, he takes half. So he yes. took like four and a half. He took I don't know four or five, whatever you want. Damn! Ah, everybody just, everybody just sees the thing. Just and you just see rock. a blast, right? Um, what was the spell that you threw again? Uh, thunder wave. Yeah, I think that's a fire, right? Isn't that like, no, a, it's so like a shock wave? It's a shock wave. Okay. Yeah. So you you just it's a magic spell. you you cast that spell and a blast just shatters the skulls and bones of these individuals into thousands of pieces. They all die instantly. And one of them, he, he a lot of his bones break in his body. But <coughs> he was able to still survive, but he's like on his knees, kind of like almost like 
What the hell just happened? I'm shocked and I'm just walking backwards like slowly. Someone help me! <laughs> Alright, next. So, Vinde. I'm walking around because this guy got in my way a little bit. So, I'm walking around him and I'm like, You foul bug, man. You have desecrated your last tomb. And I give him cast long sword. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. I like this character. Yeah! Yeah! Cool. No, I think you missed. Oh, you missed! That was 16 a miss, armor. Like 16, right? Oh, wait, how did I miss? It's 16 oh, armor. 16 armor. <laughs> 16 armor. I use my war, my second war thing, and I go again. Ah, uh, you're not gonna get away with that! Yeah. Yeah. That's what I like. That's what I like. That's the god. And now you are using your, your sword, correct? My long sword, yes. Your long sword. Uh, so you strike him true on his nose. And you cut a piece of his nose off. Oh. But guess what? Even with that five points of damage, he's, he's still, still uh, alive. Yeah, I, I have to stack a little piece of his nose. I'm kicking him like. Shit out of here. Guess whose turn it is? The, the bug bear. bear. And being that he took the most damage from the dwarf, That's no. right. he is pissed at the dwarf, and he faces the dwarf. And he swings at him. What's your armor class? 14. 14. He gets a plus four with that morning star. Get that. And he misses. Get that. Oh. Oh. I with my head. Ah. <laughs> and I shatter it. No, I don't. Uh. All right. Back to the top. The goblins. There's one goblin left. And he's bleeding there. His bones are broken. He saw. He looks into the face of Bear Bottom as Bear Bottom is taking steps backwards, but he's going. Screw this! <laughs> you see him limping away. He's like, I ain't dying. Goblins don't stay till the end, man. And he's running. Oh, he says, God. Screw this, Bugbear. I don't care if he's my boss. I'm out of here. And you just see him kind of limping away with his broken bones in his body. All right, next. <laughs> Is uh, Madam Fausta? Oh come on! Right. So Madam Fausta Do doesn't it. like Bugbear too much, so she's gonna cast Bane. She says, "Umber gale in terror's night, peril in apocalypse blight," and then she goes, "Bane, Bane!" and she casts the Bane <laughs> right now. Oh go. All right, so he has to make a save. Let me see him. Ba 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 ba. Needs to be a charisma, uh, charisma save for that guy. Okay. And he makes it. Oh, that's wonderful. I makes sense. Makes sense. All right. <laughs> he does get a bonus for being a leader, also. So, but um, all right. He makes it. And uh, next is the dwarf, Baz. Bazrata. No, Bazrata. I'm like I, I have I have his axe in my hand between my hands, and I like bring him down because he's still holding mm -hmm. on he doesn't want to let go of the axe now, now in reality is really between your your like you know your shoulder but <laughs> now i'm playing around yeah. <laughs> and i'm whispering to him i was like if i if i was angry this would already be over and i'm gonna uh, grab i'm gonna grapple him i'm gonna grapple him with my axe. i, I dropped my pants yes so pants uh, it's a strength check. I guess I'm going against his, right? Yeah, strength against it's, strength. Uh, but, I, but I get advantage on it, so. Oh no, I don't. I'm not sorry. I don't get advantage on it. You can use that first, though, if you want. If you're raged, yeah. If you're raged, you get a strength advantage. Yeah, but I'm not enraged. This is, I'm going off the. I'm happy. So oh, you beat him anyway, even when it's. <laughs> 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 Alright. You grab him, him you're holding this. You're like this little dwarf holding on to his giant bugbear. He's like, what the heck? <laughs> so nuts, his nuts. <laughs> and, 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 and you kind of like, 
he's like shouting in, in anger that, that this is happening. And he he kind of like looks at you in your face and, and you hear him say, hey, How dare you! You little dwarf! Get off my leg! I will eat you alive, you little dwarf scum! Alright, real quick. Alright, what are you doing? Real quick, real quick. With my, with my move action, I'm dragging him. <laughs> okay. I love it. I think I have to make a. Yeah, you can't move your full movement. Come get them. Because you're dragging him. No, I don't have. I, I, no, I won't move my full. No. Yeah, yeah. Where are you moving him to? I'm just gonna move him over here. But I, I, I just, I want to move him between. I want. Yeah, exactly. But I just want to show the strength. I just everybody just pull. I'm just pulling him by his leg. And he's like, hey, I can't do it. I can't fight him. Yeah, he's he's pretty pissed that this little dwarf is like manipulating him like that. All right. <laughs> Next is. Oh, I have um, Oh, let's go ahead. No. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, the wizard, Frelick. I'm throwing a firebolt at him. Okay, go ahead. While he's, <laughs> while he's busy with the dwarf. Oh my goodness! You throw it. Wait, a oh, firebolt. Yes. A bolt. It's a bolt. I'm sorry. I had I had a, like a, a relapse there. A no, I'm not ball, Henry. Ball <laughs> Henry for a second. Knight. I was Henry like, Knight. oh my god, everybody's dead in this whole party. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Why doesn't it let me roll when I hit this? Just roll 20 side dice. Yeah, okay. I roll 20 side dice. And I know it's a 1d10. Oh, that's why it's not the other one. That's why. Come on, come on, come on. Finish this off, right? It's a big 20 for him. You see the word submit anywhere? What did I roll? I don't even see it. Seven. I, plus, um, I think I have a five, so it's twelve. Oh no, he's got a seven. Sixteen. 16. Yeah, he's still got his full. All right, you miss. Oh, he's gonna get it to go to murder somebody. Now we got Matt. With this, still a couple of people. Didn't he have to roll a saving throw? All right, <coughs> All right next is Bear Bottom. What are you doing? Okay, uh, first I'm thanking Steven's God. I'm like, thank you. Gosh. <laughs> um, and then I am uh, turning around and I'm going to give him the gas. No, the flames. The flames come back again. They go out. They flicker. <laughs> and then I take that constitution saving throw. I fart on him. Damn. No, no, no. Hey, right. He's making his constitution Hey, well, hey, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How much damage does he take? Wow. From your rear end. Yes. Oh heels. yes. Seven like. points of damage. Poison damage. I don't know if he's immune or anything. Uh, no, he's not. So that's a total of twenty-four. He's kind of like you see him like. He's limping. He's having problems breathing, uh, uh, but he's still alive. Uh, he's coughing up a lung. <coughs> As a matter of fact, you even hear hear him say, he says, Damn, what the hell was that? <laughs> That's worse than the dreaded swamps. <laughs> just kind of Somebody's like, going to get the Hassan. <laughs> right. Next. Oh, man. And you figure Bugbear's been in some nasty places. That's what I was saying. <laughs> he was like, damn, that was like, that was torture. All right, next is uh, Sir Vinve. I'm like, Stonebreaker has your legs. Let me free you. And I'm, I'm chopping his thigh off. I'm like, long sword, I cast you. But missed again. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I'm using my last and final. My last and final war. Um, Ability to roll on a bonus attack. Don't miss this. Oh my goodness. Oh man. I just throw my sword. Uh, I throw my sword. You hit yourself. You rolled a one. I rolled two ones today. That All means right. you hit yourself. <laughs> well, guess whose turn it is? The bug bear is going to say my son to somebody. Yeah. And he's one. still focused. He's been taking a lot of damage from all of you, but he still took the most from the dwarf, Bazarata. So he's just focusing on, on this little dwarf moving him around, and he's going to try to break free from it. And as he's trying to break free, you hear him say, 
I will crush you, little one! You are not worthy to hold my loincloth! You, you, little dwarf! But he's gonna roll and one. And here he goes, he's trying to break his hold. That's a pretty oh. bad roll. <laughs> no. <laughs> Make your roll! Make your roll! <laughs> the dwarf is, yeah, the dwarf is just like holding on to him. The dwarf is holding his underwear too. He's like... He's like trying to like kick him off a leg, you know, when like a little child holds on to that leg and it never gets off your leg. And you're like, get off my leg, damn you. All right, you're, you're holding on. He's still, I mean, he's still there. Um, now, I do want to say, even though you're grappling him, they uh, he's he entitled to strike you. Yeah. So uh, yeah, sure. he is going to strike you. There comes the one. Okay. And get get out of here. Here. Get wait, what's your armor class? 14. 14 plus 4. He still missed with a 13. He missed it! Yeah. yeah, when he hits, I like my I use my legs to like clamp onto his leg and then go around his neck and now I'm on his neck now. <laughs> okay. Alright, All right. All right Maddo, Fausta, you go. That's that dragon sleep. What are you doing? Madam goes. Yep. Oh, Madam? I'm sorry, I thought it was uh, Madam Fausta, you go. Madam Fausta is going to definitely go ahead and cast, um, which we'll call it, dissonant whispers on this guy. Um, yeah, I'm gonna definitely cast dissonant whisper on him. So here we go. Uh, and then she's gonna say, "I speak thine death into existence." And then she, boom, dissonant. Make that save. Make that save. It's really a third. Nice. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, man. This son of a gun. And, and he makes the save. He that means he takes five off. damage instead. Take damage anyway. Take <laughs> damage anyway. Oh. It just half. <laughs> he takes five points of damage. Yeah. Takes half. Oh. And as you cast that, you see, it seems as though his face goes into this, into pain. You see his veins popping on his head. And you see this confusion, like this freaking dwarf doesn't let go of his leg. And he's in this massive pain and it feels like his skull is about to explode. And he drops to the ground, screaming in pain. Ah, no! This can't not be! I am Ugar, the Tongue Collector! I cannot die this way with a dwarf on my freaking leg! <laughs> the Tongue Collector? And he dies, drops to the ground, dead. I cut his Long tongue and take it. I'm right. gonna cut the tongue, collect his tongue. Well, remember, he decorated his clothes with all different kinds of tongues for different races and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm definitely sure that he wanted to have a dwarf tongue. <laughs> Someone's tongue on his. But he oh. drops and he's dead. And you are relieved. What I'm are you guys I'm still doing? choking him out. I'm still. <laughs> <laughs> I get him all. I try to separate Anthony from him. He's dead. He's asked, dead. It's over. I have the bears if he has any more berries. I have uh, one left. Because I took four points of damage. Very okay. well done. I don't know if anybody else got hit. Now put the one berry in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and I make sure my and dirty I, finger goes inside. And I bite it so much that I bite his finger too. <laughs> You don't know where I'm worried thing about bare been. bottom. I just want to let you know I'm really concerned. I mean the the flatuation and all this like everything that hit like with the in the tongue and the mouth and the. <laughs> all right, I tell bare bottom. Mm, that's good chocolate berries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's not chocolate. <laughs> Maybe it's honey. Oh, that's all right. Nasty. Uh, well, I'm telling. I'm. I'm Telling her after, after I get off the bugbear. Well done, everyone. Indubitably. I believe everyone showed themselves Class A warriors in my book. Um, I would like to investigate this place 
prior to us abandoning it, if that is all right with everyone. That's a good idea. I shut those two doors just in case some more goblins decides to come by. Okay. So as you're closing the door... Uh... I'll let the Cardinal go. I thank him. <laughs> let the, the bird go. And uh, you notice that the bird kind of like just... And it I throw a peanut a at the bird. Tweet, 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 and just flies right off. Happy that you are... It made a deal with you. Um, Sir Vimve and I guess uh, Madam uh, Fausta, you look at the inscription. Cause that's the, what you originally were going to do. Right. And you see that there are words written on the dais. It says, if you are to keep this, you must first give it to me. If you are to keep this, you must first give it to me. So there got to be something in the room, I told them, that has to be laid like, around. Yeah, there, there are. There, does the statue seem like it has any kind of hands? Um, oh, you, hands. you notice that the statue is of a great knight with a shield and sword in his hands. Um, and the, again, this room is extravagantly beautiful. Um, they have curtains here. You can I'm tell they're around. definitely honoring this great and wonderful it's a shrine this great and wonderful night uh, i read the oath to it i read the, the oath back to it I, I, what is it it's the um oh man what, what it says back on the wall the uh, azeroth so you read so yeah. you go back and read the oath to remember yeah I mean, and no, it, it says if okay so it says um the oath says Nice I, Sir Nigel the Protector, swear the Azareth Oath to serve the people, battle chaos, and strive to keep the laws of Azeros. I, I repeat that. <laughs> I'm bad. I'm really bad. Can you give me like one line at a time? <laughs> yeah. I, Sir Nigel yeah. the Protector. We'll do it together. I, Sir Nigel the Protector. I. Sir Nigel the Protector. Swear the Azareth Oath. Swear the Azareth Oath. To serve the people. To serve the people. Battle chaos. To battle chaos. And strive to keep the laws of Azareth. And to strive to keep the laws of Azareth. And as you say that, you hear a loud click and a ground, a grinding st- sound of stone on stone coming from the east wall and as you look in that direction you witness a secret door opening to reveal another room what are you doing very well done sir vinfe rather eloquent my dad not as eloquent as the madam poster Thank you for a bow. Oh my. I much uh, rather appreciate it. Let me investigate. All right, here we go. Are you going into that room? Yes? Yes, but I'm first going to make sure I, I, I uh, touch Sir okay. Bimbe's shoulder in an uh, appreciation as I walk <laughs> Okay. All right. All right. So we go into the next room. Then, uh, was... Oh no, there's a coffin. Dracula! Oh. <laughs> you guys are too much. All right. Do I hear keys? Do I hear You, <laughs> you <laughs> enter a large tomb chamber. There are several sarcophagi here, and the one furthest from you is larger than the rest and quite beautiful. This area is well lit by several brass brazers. So you see those brazers there, and there's an air, there's a stillness in the air that promotes reverence. What are you guys doing? It's holy ground. Mm-hmm. So sort of in bed. Yes, I walk first. Take your slippers off. What? What is natural for such traditions of in bed? What is natural? Do I do I know like the? Of course. I mean, after all, you're a cleric. 
you know that th if this is holy ground, you must take off, as Bear Bottom said, you must take off your shoes and you must, if anything, be on your knees. But that's not to <laughs> say that you must do that here. You do what you want. You let me know what you want to do. Oh, Madam Faust on her knees. Uh -oh. oh, I'm already naked, so I'm walking up. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I'm, I told him that. I'm like, like it says, naturally, you have to be, you know, on your knees and without weapon and armor, of course. So, Vinve. I'm circling around as I'm naked, walking backwards towards them, like you say. Okay. I'm prepared. Just a quick question, uh, Bare Bottom. I know that I understand you're naked and, and you don't have no weapon. Are you walking or are you on your knees and moving forward? Oh, on my knees. I okay. said that. Yeah. Uh, who is who is not doing that? Oh, I'm doing it. Um, okay. Uh, Bazarata, are you doing that? Yeah. Yeah. I I am. I'm. Okay. I'm, I'm 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 sort of, you know, under my breath. I'm I'm like. <clears throat> yeah, I would yeah, assume you wouldn't like doing that. I mean, let's, like, let's be honest. I, I, I know I you know, I had to do it because my I know royalty my my, my father's royalty so oh I like yes. that yeah that's true and then you would honor that that's right yeah that makes sense begrudgingly I'm like <laughs> Juan you're on mute and uh, the wizard frolic he was already as much as I don't want to I'm on my as much as I don't want to, I'm on my knees right behind Sir Vinve, hiding behind him. Well, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. You just let me know. I'm a wizard. Nah, I, can it's I want my knowledge? You don't have to do what. You just tell me what you're going to do. I don't care. I'm going to go on my knees anyway because... <laughs> what the hell? I don't have no armor already. I don't have any weapons. So I'm just going to go on my knees behind Sir Vinve and hide behind him. Okay. I must steal one of his holy symbols while I'm at it. All right. So uh, you, you, as you enter and you're all on your knees and you're kind of moving forward, you notice that there's a kind of a glow that occurs. And you see these spirits start to rise from each one. And you can see that the spirits are in these forms of various humanoids. You see a dwarf. You see an elf, a gnome, a human, a half -room. You see all these various races. And in the center, in the great sarcophagus, you see this human knight rise, a spirit. And a smile is on all of their faces. And the one in the center smiles at you and points to his sarcophagus. And as if someone or multiple people pushed it, you see the lid open up. Oh no. The and lips. you see a shine appear from within. I'm like spooked. And you see the smile on this spirit. And he points to his sarcophagus and nods to you. And all of those spirits fade. What are you doing? Well, is there stairways in the sarcophagus? Going to the, going to the sarcophagus to, to A magical so the, hammer. And when so you the, go there, you notice you see it filled with jewelry gold. and gold. Oh, uh, no. The shining ones. Eyes there eyes are eyes. two, also two potions in there. And I wonder who my identify. You, you use your spell. <laughs> And you determine that those are potions of healing. Congratulations. Right. And you gather the money and the jewelry and everything together is about 365 gold pieces. Worth. Wow. Oh, it's armor by Jackpot. I take it that you gather it? 
So I tell I tell yeah. them these are two potions of healing. And they say it isn't I don't either. rewarding to be good. <laughs> but I could differ. I already had a berry. <laughs> So I'm gonna. You, want, you guys want me to collect that? Yeah, we collected it. Let's collect it. Let's split it five ways, man. Count that up. the potions of feeling. Three sixty-five divided by five. I'll take one hundred. Uh, maybe the people uh, who don't heal. That's the three. Don't heal. Yeah. Three, three thirteen each. I mean three thirteen each. I'm a retard. Oh boy. So. Baz, Baz Rata, you should have a potion. You don't heal. And Frele, 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 Hele. Frele, 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 You should keep a potion because you don't heal. 73 gold pieces each. All right, put that down on your character sheets. Uh, do I take it that you guys now travel back? Yeah. How much we, was that? Seven what? Do you what seventy-three gold cool pieces? Okay, go ahead. And then yes, we're gonna travel back. All right. Uh, do you kind of close the doors behind you and yes. uh, make sure that they're locked? Out of reverence. To, out of reverence to this too. Yes, and I think the cleric should do some kind of ceremonial prayer for them. I tell Whoa, the cleric that the wizard is telling the priest. I know, I know religion. I have a three on it. He has a fake. I have a religion of five. So you should be even telling him too. Mm -hmm. And I tell, I whisper to Benve, if I was you, I would be offended by that. <laughs> <laughs> That'd make me angry. <laughs> right. All right. So I take it to, that you're traveling back to Portobus. Yes. Yep. All right. So you're traveling back to Portobus. I I'm not going to say no to that. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is this for, child? We are, we are going to start a donation of GoFund. GoFund. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Plate mail. <laughs> wow. uh, GoFund me. <laughs> uh, GoFund me. And you travel back to the town of Portobus to the drunken dog tavern and as you enter one by one people at the inn start to notice you with shocked faces that soon turn to joy they they kind of like thought that you guys were going to die <laughs> going on this and here they are they're they're surprised that you came back and you're welcome they lift up their mugs to you and cheer Yay! My three foot self, I'm dancing it, on the table. In response to you coming back, and Sir Gilius in the corner sitting there in his usual uh, table by himself, he takes notice of you. And with glee and unexpected energy, it rises within him. And he rises up from his chair, uh, and with an old man's gait, he pushes his way through the crowd to welcome you. You are all back! Right Did you do it? Yeah, Did you clear did. the order of the Knights of Azeroth's tomb? I hugged the old man. That's where I'll be it again. We did, <laughs> sir. Gilius. <laughs> you, you have made an old knight happy and is content. That now he may rest in peace, knowing that his great knighthood is, has reverence and has been respected. I thank you. And with a weird old kind of like bow, <laughs> he doesn't he bends get back down up. <laughs> and kind of almost stumbles but is able to get himself back up. I'm trying to catch him. And he has a smile on his face. And as he smiles, the doors burst open. And this ragged, old, skinny individual man comes in. He looks like he's all dirty. And you hear him say, They're coming! They're coming! <laughs> Death <laughs> is coming! Beware! <laughs> and that's where we end. 
Thank you for joining us okay. in our session. I you. Our new I campaign. You. Um, I, I, I hope that you guys could subscribe and uh, comment on this mission. Let us know what you feel and what you thought, what's your thoughts on this. Um, we really had a lot of fun. I hope you had fun watching and uh keep joining us you know and if you don't watch this series if you're into sci-fi we're, we're doing a campaign of star wars uh so kind of like uh, hit us up for that and i think that's also really exciting and, and we're having some really exciting things happening in that campaign also so again thank you for the, the uh, joining us here in the call of the grave right the campaign of of dungeon dragons 5e take care we're out of time and we're and out of character. Out of character.